The Toronto Centre of Liver Disease is a national centre of excellence and, has, and it's uh, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, liver clinic in North America. We have around 17 faculty members, so hepatologists. We have a total staff of more than 100 people, including liver transplant, just working on liver disease. We treat and we have around 25 to 30,000 patient visits a year, which is huge really in our clinic. Uh, we do around 220 liver transplants. So with those volumes, there is a lot to learn from fellows from around the globe. So they can get a vast clinical experience here and learn a lot about how to treat different liver diseases. In addition to that, we have the opportunity to do research here. I, I have at least four I would say global key opinion leaders in my team, uh, which are really well-known uh, doctors. The education is phenomenal. We have very good educators. So the whole triad of academic medicine, clinics, research, as well as education is covered uh, in our clinic with huge volumes of patients. Really. Well, let me tell you a little bit about how the liver center came to be. For many years, there were two strong liver disease centers in Toronto. One here at Toronto General Hospital and the other a little way away at Toronto Western Hospital. We have our surgeons here, we have the transplant program here, we have interventional radiology here, we have pathology here. As part of the same administration, all of those facilities were available to the people at the other hospital, but they had to come over here to get them. So that made sense to put everybody on one site. We are much more easily able to refer to each other to take advantage of anyone's particular expertise. And I think this is all to patients' benefit. In addition, this provides a really very rich learning experience for people who might want to come here and learn about liver disease. The Toronto Liver Transplant Program has been on the frontier of, of research in transplantation for many, many years. Liver Live Donor Transplant Program here in Toronto has become well known internationally I think for several reasons is that we have achieved excellent results. Despite uh, subjecting uh, approximately 700 individuals to this process, we've had no donor deaths. We've had no donors that have suffered any serious long-term complications. Further, we have pushed back the frontiers of anonymous living donation, in particular in our pediatric program. Uh, and we are also transplanting far, far sicker patients with live donors than you will see being transplanted across the United States as well. Our live donor program in the average year does two to three times as many live donor transplants as the busiest U.S. centre. Part of the protocol leaving the Canadian Forces is to undergo what's called a release medical. Uh, the blood work determined that I had contracted hepatitis C somehow. When I met Lance, he was already pretty sick. He already had quite advanced liver disease. He had cirrhosis and despite that he actually was pretty active and didn't really know that he had too many problems. And the remarkable thing is he got a new liver from his sister and had a great recovery and um, with the advances in hepatitis C treatment he was then cured, living hepatitis C free with a new and healthy liver. The Toronto Centre for Liver Disease has been fantastic uh, for me. Uh, first of all, they made me accept uh, and feel comfortable with having the disease. Feel more comfortable in, in addressing the stigma that was surrounded with hepatitis C. Uh, they made me feel special. They made me feel better from day to day. I think our goal in liver disease research is to do what we did in hepatitis C for every liver disease. We really want to take these diseases, understand them in great depth, and use that understanding to allow us to develop new therapies and really to change the face of, of liver disease and really start to eliminate it as a public health problem. We are working on a lot of projects here, um, especially we are very good at collaborating across borders, national as well as international groups. Example of uh, big data is the database of primary biliary cholangitis from the Global PBC Study Group. With, with in total now 6,000 patients, which have been followed for 15 years, we're able to study in depth the, this disease. We also do a lot of partnership programming uh, with foundations, patient education groups, to ensure that patients who may not be coming to see us physically within this hospital still have access to us and what we can offer. We see the full spectrum of all kinds of liver diseases. And anyone coming through our clinic as a healthcare provider 
and as, as a trainee especially, has an opportunity to participate in the care of these individuals. And it's really only the last 10 years or so where we've seen this fundamental change. The explosion of knowledge in this field hasn't happened very often in any area of medicine and to have been lucky enough to have been part of it in hepatitis C has been a great experience for me. I mean, it's really changed my career in ways that I can't even describe. What we have here at the center are the most up-to-date and advanced treatment. And we are able to offer our patients what the other centers they might not have. And we also have the expertise. We have the person, we have nurses here to help the patients go through the treatment. At the same time, we make sure our patients under the, understand their disease process. The reason that people should come here when they have liver disease to the Toronto Centre of Liver Disease is really that we offer the whole spectrum of care. From very early on treatment in relatively simple patients uh, to very complicated um, patients with end-stage liver disease and liver cancer where we can offer liver transplantation or other treatments for liver cancer which really uh, I would say require a multidisciplinary approach.